Good afternoon, everybody. This is Carly Kovacic with the National Weather Service in Peachtree City. This is the weekly weather briefing for the week of May 5th. We'll kick things off by taking a look at the current conditions valid around 10 a.m. this morning. Top left is the regional radar. So across eastern Tennessee, you can see some showers have developed. Throughout the day today, those are going to continue to push south and they're going to continue to develop. So we are expecting rain across north Georgia. Bottom right shows the current temperatures, showing about 55 degrees across the Atlanta metro and upper 50s across the North Georgia mountains, and we got low to mid 60s across Central Georgia. We have a wind advisory in effect from 8 a.m. this morning through 11 p.m. tonight. This is for all of North and Central Georgia, so that is our entire forecast area. This is gonna entail wind speeds between 15 and 25 miles per hour, with gusts between 30 and 35 miles per hour. It is possible that these winds could linger into the overnight hours tonight, especially for the higher elevations across northeast Georgia. And with this, we want you to secure all loose objects and any high profile vehicles that are planning on traveling today should use extra caution while driving. These winds are also gonna be capable of downing a few trees and limbs. As I mentioned in the first slide, rain is likely across north Georgia this afternoon. However, the Storm Prediction Center has most of north and into east central Georgia highlighted in a general thunder risk. Not expecting anything severe, but it is possible that you could hear some thunder and see some lightning this afternoon. The main threat with any storms and even some of these showers is going to be some small hail and grapple. On the right, this is the high temperatures across the state for today. So you can see portions of northeast Georgia up in the mountains not going to get out of the 50s. We've got 57 for Blairsville. And then across most of north and central Georgia not going to get out of the 60s. Um, it's not until you get down to the southern portion of our border uh, that you'll see high temperatures in the lower 70s. So if you do like the cool weather, today is definitely your day. This slide is just to give you an idea of what the radar might look like this afternoon. The left is 1 p.m. You can see those scattered showers, maybe some embedded thunder working its way across the counties in North Georgia. And at 4 p.m., shown on the right, you can see how those showers have now developed to the south and the southeast, now affecting mainly northeast and east central Georgia. It is possible that the Atlanta metro could see a shower or two. But again, overall, not expecting too much. And uh, overall, the coverage is going to be pretty widely scattered. We've got a dry forecast in store for all areas on Friday. However, we are going to be monitoring the moisture content across the Carolinas. Should that shift west a little bit, it is possible that our eastern counties may see a couple showers Friday afternoon into the evening. So we'll monitor those trends and update the forecast as necessary. High temperatures on Friday are going to be a couple degrees warmer than what we are seeing today. And it is going to be continued breezy on Friday. We're going to monitor the trends today to see if we will need to extend the wind advisory through Friday. As of right now, it's still planning on uh, being dropped off at 11 p.m. tonight. As far as rainfall totals are concerned, not expecting much. We've got maybe up to a tenth of an inch across far northeast Georgia, and that's highlighted in the green that you see on the image. The rest of the areas that do maybe see a shower or two, that's only going to amount to maybe a trace to a couple hundredths of an inch. This weekend is shaping up to be absolutely gorgeous. Aside from a few clouds across the North Georgia mountains, expecting generally sunny conditions with a warming trend, high temperatures on Saturday generally going to be in the lower 80s across the area, warming that up a few degrees on Sunday with high temperatures ranging from the middle 80s to the upper 80s. It's a little too early to get into the finer details, but it does look like rain is going to return sometime early to midweek next week, say maybe Tuesday or Wednesday as the next system approaches. Here's a look at the rainfall totals expected through next Thursday. This will likely be fine-tuned as we know more about next week's system, but overall amounts expected to be fairly light. Got the highest amounts across the North Georgia mountains where they could see up to a half an inch. In summary, there's a wind advisory in effect from 8 a.m. this morning through 11 p.m. tonight for both North and Central Georgia. We are expecting showers today, maybe some embedded thunder, particularly across North and Northeast Georgia, then finally creeping into East Central Georgia later this afternoon. The biggest threat with this is gonna be some small hail. Do expect this activity to taper into the overnight hours tonight. 
Friday should be dry and breezy across all areas. We will monitor moisture and wind trends to see if we need to add some light shower chances to east central Georgia and also extend that wind advisory. We are expecting a dry and warm weekend, so if you have outdoor plans, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Rain and thunderstorm chances are going to ramp up again sometime early to midweek next week, and right now just looks like some scattered shower and thunderstorm development. That's it for this week's weather briefing. Thanks for tuning in. We will be back next Thursday, and we will post the recording of the briefing sometime Thursday afternoon. Have a great week.